Happy Tuesday, everyone. We are taking a live look now over downtown Grand Rapids. Skies are dry for the moment, but we have some rain that's starting to build in. As for our current conditions, mostly cloudy and 44 degrees. The current feels like temperatures at 38 degrees because the winds are firing up from the east around 13 miles per hour. As for tonight, the rain is going to develop and it's actually going to persist into Wednesday and Thursday. The exact same system is going to bring rounds of precipitation for two days and then leading into the chance of a wintry mix for not only Friday, but also into Saturday morning. So we have a couple days that you'll really want to make sure you have your rain gear and your warm layers, especially leading into your Saturday, which will be the coolest day of the entire work week. Taking a look now at our satellite and radar, you can see the low pressure system that's currently brewing towards the west. This is what's going to develop moving into West Michigan early tomorrow morning, bringing the heaviest amount of precipitation and the greatest chance at downpours early tomorrow morning. A closer look shows where the showers and storms are starting to line up closer towards Madison. As we track this incoming system expected to move in towards Grand Rapids around 513 in the morning and Benton Harbor around 352 in the morning as well. Keep in mind that no severe weather is expected, but we could hear a few rumbles of thunder. Temperatures currently they're around 44 degrees in Grand Rapids, 48 in Holland and 54 degrees in Kalamazoo. Still a warm spot. Temperatures will be be falling into the 40s to lower 50s throughout the rest of tonight and winds are going to remain light until the system arrives. That's when winds are going to be quite breezy throughout the day tomorrow. Now speaking of tomorrow, this is a look at our Wednesday planner. Rain showers will be persistent between 9 and the lunchtime hour by 4 p.m. Moments of sunshine with a few isolated showers and a high temperature of 54 degrees. Tomorrow will be warm, but not nearly as warm as what it was today. And I hope everyone was able to get outside and at least enjoy a little bit bit of our heat and sun. As we take a look at our future track, we have this low pressure system that's gradually going to build in overnight into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning brings the best bet at the heavier downpours as well and potentially a few rumbles of thunder. Again, as mentioned, no severe weather, but as that system moves through after 6 a.m., a few isolated showers will continue into the later afternoon and evening hours, and the same low pressure system will provide scattered rain showers throughout the day on Thursday. It's all thanks to the circulation of this low pressure system, which will eventually allow for some light snow and potentially some rain throughout the day on Friday and into Saturday morning. When it comes to the amount of precipitation, most locations between Wednesday and Thursday will see a widespread half an inch of rainfall with isolated higher amounts up to one inch of rain. As for high temperature trend, temperatures are going to be much cooler for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Saturday will be be the coldest day of the extended outlook, but take a look at the difference between Saturday and Sunday. We rebound in our temperatures back to the lower to mid 60s for next week. And speaking of next week, it does look to be warmer than average all across West Michigan between the 11th and the 15th. So that is Monday through Friday of next week. This is the latest Climate Prediction Center outlook. As for our Super 7 Day Planner, a high temperature of 49 degrees for your Thursday, 44 on Friday, and the chance of a wintry mix will continue into early Saturday morning. That's before the sunshine returns Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. I highly recommend starting to plan your outdoor activities right now. Yeah, looks perfect for it. Haley, thank you.